Hi, welcome to my channel. My video today is about uh, the people that live in a certain state. I won't say the name of the state. I've been talking to people that are from the show me state. Right, right. So this video here is for those people from the show me state. Now there's another state that, that's almost like the show me state. Uh, that state, I think it's called what's it look like state. So for those people from what's it look like state and show me state, I'm going to show you what it looks like to learn to speak a new language. In this case, being Spanish. Okay. So how do you learn to speak Spanish? Or how can I help you to learn to speak Spanish? Actually, that's, that's the question. Well, I can guide you through this. I can guide you through some simple steps that will take you a very long way into speaking Spanish. So here we go. Rule number one, and it's one of the toughest rules there is to understand, but that's what I'm going to try to help you with today to understand that number one rule which is if you want to learn to speak a new language you have to start from the very beginning to speak it what <laughs> and this is the problem see people uh, some people don't understand what is meant by speaking a language they're they're thinking well how can i how can you help me to learn to speak a new language by speaking it when I can't speak it? That's why I'm here. Well, that's, that's crazy. They're talking too fast. How can I learn to speak that language when they speak it so fast? <laughs> that, that, that's another craziness here that has got us not learning anything. Well, I'm going to try to uh, address those kind of problems in my videos uh, for sure uh, I'm gonna address the first one today and how can I you know the show me state and the uh, uh, what's it look like state and uh, I'll touch a little bit on some others like that that one I just mentioned how can I understand and repeat what they're saying when they're speaking so fast well that's not the problem the problem is not that they're speaking so fast it's that you're listening too slow. I'm not saying that you don't know how to listen or that you can't listen so that you can repeat. I'm just saying that you're too slow at it because you haven't done it in a long time. You did it and you were really good at it and you still are good at it, except you don't know it. But you did it when you were uh, growing up, a baby, maybe two years old or so. When you were two years old, uh, you were right there on that, okay? You were doing it. You were learning how to Listen and repeat. Heck, if anybody said any new word that you hadn't heard before, hopefully not a bad word because it was just one bad word. You said it once. That two-year-old or that two-and-a-half-year-old, three-year-old, if he hears that word, he's going to repeat it forever and embarrass you forever. So, so you've done this before. You just are not that good at it anymore. So that's what I mean when you have to start speaking it. And today I'm going to show you what's it look like when you're learning to speak it. Okay, teacher, you say I have to start speaking it. I don't know how to speak it, but you say I have to try to do it. Show me what that looks like. That's from the show me state. What's that look like from the what's that look like state? Okay, that's what we're going to do today. That's what today's video is all about. I'm going to give you examples of uh, uh, speaking while at the same time learning to speak a new language. All right, you guys ready for this? Okay, it's gonna be good. And you will learn what I'm talking about when I say you have to speak the language in order to learn how to speak it. It sounds crazy, right? But it's not crazy, it's the way the brain works. That's why, you know, the, uh, the artificial intelligence people, you know, they just don't get it, they can't get it because they don't understand what the brain is doing. The brain 
is organized to learn this way. It's not programmed. There is no program in our head. Don't get away from that. You better get away from that because that's not going to work. That's a dead end street. Okay? That's a deep, deep hole you'll get into and you'll never get out of. The brain is not programmed. Anybody wants to come out with some artificial intelligence to program a computer on the uh, truth and false, the zero and one, you know, all the, uh, the, the nors and the ors and all the type of resistance. It just can't be done, okay? So you might as, you know, you don't know enough about it, so. You don't, we, nobody knows enough about how the brain is organized in order to come out with the speech that we're really good at. But, but, and there is a but, but it is organized, okay? All we gotta do is feed it correctly. Uh, gets healthier and healthier, you know, the better you feed your brain, your body. So we're gonna feed our brain with uh, good information, and that information is, number one, you wanna learn to speak a language, whether it be Spanish or Hungarian or Ethiopian or, you know, what is it? Whatever you want. It's all the same way. You learn it all, all different languages are learned the same way, and it's 100% proof or else people wouldn't learn to speak. There'd be some people from somewhere in the world that just can't get it. Well, everybody gets it because the brain has had 200,000, 200,000 years of practice, okay? So let's get to this, all right? Today, you're gonna learn how to learn, maybe, huh? Okay, what do I mean today? All right, let's get with it. Go. All right, here we go. Now consider this. Suppose that somebody had invited you, your girlfriend, say. You got a new girlfriend, uh, and she invited you over to Mexico. She happens to be Spanish-speaking, and uh, you met her. You don't know how to speak any Spanish, but gosh, you're going to go to Mexico, and you'll be living uh, around people who speak nothing but Spanish. What are you going to do? All right, here we go. All right, so you go to Mexico, uh, you meet their parents as best you can, you know how to say thank you, you do a lot of that, gracias, you say gracias, you know, gracias, uh, you know. What can you do? You don't know how to speak Spanish, but you know you're gonna have to learn. <laughs> this this, this uh, girl is really cute. So therefore, um, you go, you stay overnight and, um, in the morning, you wake up, and you say, you're, you, you know, you're kind of hungry, so you go to the kitchen. You're there rubbing your eyes, and you look around the kitchen, and the only person you see is you know, your girlfriend's mother. She's uh, right by the stove cooking. She turns around and says to you, Tienes hambre? And you go, what? Hey, what'd you say to me? Where's my girlfriend? So you say, you go, you make an expression like you don't know what she said, and she'll say it again. Tienes hambre? And you say, hambre, hambre. I think I've heard that word before, hambre, hombre. Oh, that's, that means man. Yeah, so yeah, me, yeah, you say, yeah, me, hombre. And she says, no. Tienes hambre. And you say, oh yeah, hombre. Yeah, hombre. Your daughter, my girlfriend, hombre. She says, no, no hombre. This is hombre, no hombre. Hambre, hambre, hambre. No hombre, o, and a. Hombre, hambre, she tells you. And so you go, oh, it's not hombre, it's hambre, hambre. I don't know what hambre means. And so you repeat, you go, hambre? Now you say it correctly, right, with the ah. Hambre, you say, and she says, uh, si, hambre. And she points at the, at, at the meal that she's cooking, she points at it and says, comida. And then she goes, comer, ah, 
And she, then she looks, she points to her stomach and she says, hambre? Tienes hambre? Oh, she's talking about food. So you think to yourself, oh, she's talking about food. Uh, food, comida is food, and comer is to eat. And then she says, she's talking about this hambre stuff. She must be asking if I'm hungry. Right, okay, let me try that. So you decide to say, si, sí. tienes hambre. And that's what she said, right? Oh, and so then I say to her, hey, I'm now I'm, I'm all high on the hog now. I want to repeat what she said to me. You're hungry. I want to repeat to her, but she's hungry. I'll eat with her and wait for my girlfriend. So you repeat it and you say to her, tienes hambre? And she says, si, sí, tengo hambre. Oh, tengo, I know. She didn't say tengo before. She said, tienes. What the heck's going on? She said, are you hungry? And she said, tengo. And I'll figure that out later. But I know now that there's one word for, for uh, hunger, right? And there's another word for man. One is Hambre, that's hunger. And the other one is man. Hombre. Hombre. Hombre is very different than hambre. Okay. Wow, I learned something. So this is what I mean by learning to speak. You start where you are. Uh, let's turn this around. What if it was the opposite? Uh, you had a, you know, a Spanish boyfriend from Mexico going to see the American girlfriend in the United States where they speak nothing but English and this guy doesn't know how to speak English. So turn the whole thing around and you'll see that it's, it's the same thing, right? Okay, it's the same thing. So, uh, okay, so you go to your girlfriend's house in, in America, you don't speak English, you wake up in the morning, your girlfriend's not in the kitchen, it's her mother that's in the kitchen, and um, she says to you, you hungry? You don't know what that means. You don't speak English, right? And so you put that face again. Uh, what? He says, you hungry? Uh, and you go, oh, angry, 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 angry in your head. You've heard that word before. And, oh, that means that you're angry. And you say to her, no. Me, no, I, angry. And she says, no, not angry, hungry. What's the matter with you? I said hungry. You got hungry and you got angry. No angry, hungry. You hungry? And finally you say, oh, no, nothing. It's got nothing to do with angry. What's she saying? What's she saying? And so you start thinking and she says, she points at the food and she says, food, eat. You want to eat? Ooh, now you got this word, wanna and eat. She, you know, she said, do it like this to eat. Now this is wanna. What is wanna? You want to eat? So she asked me, are you hungry? I don't know what that means, right? It doesn't mean angry. I don't know what hungry, hungry means. I'll get it. And then you, now she's saying you want to eat. What is wanna? I never heard that wanna. So there you start to learn. You start to notice things. You, your ear, your brain is all connected. It is actually learning and speaking at the same time. And that's what I mean. Or that's what we should learn that I mean when I'm saying that you have to speak the language in order to learn to speak the language. You start at scratch, you start at where you're at, and then you proceed from there. You have to learn to speak. If you learn the language without speaking, you'll never, it'll be really hard. I'm not saying you, it's impossible, but it would be really, really difficult to learn how to speak. Speaking, we're supposed to be able to do it naturally, and we did it naturally. You know, we taught us when we were two years old how to speak, but we learned, everybody learns. So there must be, the brain must be organized, so organized that after 200,000 years of doing this, that it is so organized that it chooses what food 
that it wants to feed on. So uh, if we give them, if we give the brain the correct food all the time, well, hey, it'd be great. You would learn really quick. But if the brain has to, you know, actually pick out, and that's really how a lot of people learn how to speak another language. They pick out a word here and there and everything. It takes a long time. There's no need for that to be taken a long time. A child can do it between the age of two and the age of three uh, in a year, maybe a year and a half, two and a half. By three and a half, you better not say anything in front of a child because they'll repeat it. And they do a good job of it, and they'll put it in every single context. And boy, will you be embarrassed. And so, but some people say, well, children can do it. Uh, the, 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 you know, they're, they're, they're programmed to, to do it. I, I already told you, there is no such thing as program. These guys are on the wrong track. If you think of it that the brain is programmed for something, you you're, you're, you obviously don't know how the human being works. I mean, you do know because you do it every day. You don't, you don't do it like that, okay? You don't program something in your head and then try to do it like that. You just don't do it. And whenever you learn anything new, you actually do it so that you can learn it. You want to, want to learn how to put something together, you have to actually put it together. So you know how it goes together. You have to practice doing it. So this is the whole basis of all this. You already know how to learn to speak a new language. You can speak 10 languages, 20 languages. There's a lot of people who do that. They figured out how, how to do it. And the way to do it is to learn to speak. That's step number one. The most important step is to learn to speak, to engage somebody. It takes two people. You can't do it by yourself, okay? You just can't talk to yourself if you've never heard the language. You have to hear the language spoken by a real person. 